<clears throat> hey everybody. Hi. It is Friday night and welcome to Friday Night Crafts with Creative Ramblings. Um, it is a cool fall day here, a cool fall evening, and so I thought it'd be a perfect time to uh, break out some Halloween crafts. So we are going to make a cute Halloween sign tonight, nothing too scary, um, a wood sign, and I'm going to show you some techniques for doing this that I'll, I'll change it up a little bit. Um, I do want to tell you about a link that is in the description to this video right now. You can download through a Dropbox file, you can download a cut file for your silhouette that is going to um, help you stencil candy corn onto this sign. And, or if you don't have a silhouette, you can print off the PDF and just cut it out with a craft knife. And so I'm going to talk about that stencil a little bit later, but the link is in the comments or in the description. If you want to um, click on that, then you can uh, go ahead and print it out and make this sign. So we are crafting a Halloween sign tonight. Um, it's going to have some candy corn. There's some painting techniques I want to show you. And then we're going to be working with some vinyl too. So let's get started. So here's Here's what we need. I, I like to use up what I have when I craft. And, um, oh, before I get started, if you, if you jump on this video and have any questions, just feel free to throw them in there and ask. If you want to let me know where you're from, what you're doing tonight, I'd love to hear. So um, please give me some comments and we can chat a little bit. So uh, I like to use scraps that I have to make my signs and, and make my crafts. And so I grabbed a piece of wood that I had. This is a one by six board. And it measures 24 inches long and um, it's one by six, but they're actually about five and a half wide. And then it's just an inch wide here. So it's just a piece of scrap wood that I had and I um, sanded up the sides a little bit. So what I did earlier is I painted this and I'm going to show you how I painted this. It's a really easy, really fun technique. Um, and it's something you can replicate with a lot of different colors. I painted it earlier because I needed it to dry for what we're doing. So what I did is I use this paint. This is Americana Decor by DecoArt. It's a chalky finish paint. It is almost the exact same color as the wood, but I needed the, I, I wanted a smoother finish on it. So I just painted the board with this color. It's called Timeless. It's like a tan beige, off-white, creamy color. Um, so Americana Decor chalky finish paint. And I painted it up and um, put a very, very light coat on it. So it just smoothed over some of the wood grain. Then, if you look at this board, there is, um, I went back and I added some kind of darker marks to it that make it look maybe a little older, maybe a little distressed. And I did this with paint. So I'm going to show you that technique right now. Because again, I did this earlier because I wanted it to dry. So for this Halloween sign, what I did is I painted it with this cream colored paint. And then I went through and I grabbed a stiff bristled brush, completely dry, nothing on it and a little bit of black craft paint, so just acrylic black craft paint. And I'm going to show you on this scrap piece of wood here exactly how to do that. So I've got some black craft paint in here, just a little bit of it. I'm going to take my dry, stiff bristled brush, dip it in the craft paint, just a very, very little amount on the tip of the brush, and then on a paper towel, I'm going to wipe a bunch of it off because I really don't need much of it at all. And then on the wood, you take the dry bristle brush and just brush over it a few times. And you're left with kind of a distressed, with kind of a distressed look. Um, and, and you can go through with this brush and burnish the edges a little bit to make it look kind of worn on the edges as well. So just a really neat technique that you can do with a dry bristle brush and some black craft paint. So we did that earlier. So I did that today and I let it dry for about an hour. And this is the base that we ended up with. It's a cream colored paint with that kind of black distressing over it. Now because this is a Halloween sign and I want it to be a cute Halloween sign, nothing too scary, I am going to paint on some candy corn. And I want to use a technique that you don't necessarily need any fancy craft tools for, something that's pretty easy to do. So if you take a look at the link in the description of this video, you're going to find two two files, it's a Dropbox link, and there's two files in there, and they both are going to lead you to um, this candy corn. So this, if you open the SVG file, you can cut it with your silhouette, and you can cut out, there's three sizes of candy corn, 
thing. Just did it on a scrap piece of paper. Again, you're going to use up your supplies, right? If you don't have a silhouette or a Cricut, there's a PDF version of this that you can print off just on copy paper or cardstock or something like that, and then cut it out with a craft knife. But either way, you're left with a stencil of candy corn. So we've in previous videos, we've talked about um, different ways to stencil with vinyl and contact paper and stencil material and all of that. This is super easy, okay? So we have our board, it's dry paint, it's a piece of cardstock, it's a pencil, it has ghosts on it, it's a Halloween pencil, and I'm just gonna trace these shapes onto the board. And so what I wanna do is have a couple candy corn kind of all throughout the sign here in, in different various sizes, different angles. So I'm gonna start by just tracing one of these onto the board. Now what I like about the finish on this board is it's got those black kind of distressed streaks in it. So I'm not too worried about using a pencil on this board because the, the, um, the color of the pencil isn't gonna show up. It kind of blends in with those darker marks. If you're using the color of paint that you think the pencil is gonna show up on, um, you can use a piece of chalk to do this and just trace it with chalk. So just put some candy corn on my piece. And for this, we're gonna put candy corn all over it, but we'll start with one. And candy corn, I didn't look this up, so I, I, I always get confused. <laughs> candy corn is white on top, orange in the middle, yellow on the bottom. So I have white, orange, and yellow craft paint, and we're just gonna paint around on those. So show of hands or hearts, do you like candy corn? Like, do you actually eat it? I decorate it with it a lot. <laughs> I use it to fill vases and um, for like candles or something like that. Um, I will eat it, but I don't love it. So I'm curious if there's people out there who really love candy corn. So this is actually just a really easy technique. We just traced a shape and now I'm taking a fine little paintbrush with some white craft paint and I'm gonna fill in my candy corn. Um, this technique is, it's simple, you don't, need anything fancy to do it. You just trace a shape and you paint it. Um, this sign I just posted out on Thursday, that's a piece of, can or that's a canvas up there with um, black letters and then I built the frame to go around it. But that is using that same technique. I took a piece of cardstock, I cut the words out of it, traced it onto my canvas with a pencil, and then just painted them with a fine brush like this and black paint. It was one of those things that it, maybe took an hour to paint. I was going really slowly, maybe a little more than an hour. Um, and I really turned on Netflix on whatever show I'm watching right now. And um, that was really easy. It was really kind of relaxing too. So don't worry if you don't have any fancy tools. You don't need them. Get yourself a craft knife and some cardstock. All right, so I've got white, orange, candy corn is yellow on the bottom. Hi, Michelle. Happy Friday. Okay, so then yellow on the bottom. So earlier today when I was figuring out what I wanted to make, I was talking with my three-year-old and I was telling her that tonight when I do this video, I'm gonna use a TV trick, which I always thought was cute when I was a kid. So you'd be watching like a food show on TV and the person's cooking and they're like, oh, I'm just gonna go put this in the oven. And then they pull the finished one out of the oven right away. I always thought that was really cool. Um, you know, because that person did a little prep work and made one and put it in the oven ahead of time. So I did that tonight, guys. So instead of sitting here and you're gonna watch me paint six candy corns, I painted one and now I'm gonna do a TV trick and I'm gonna put this one, my little crafty oven here, and I'm gonna pull this one out. So these, isn't that a cool trick? right? So all of these candy corns, um, all we did is, let's pull it up here, is I did it with a stencil here, and this is available. There's a description. Uh, there's a link in the description. You can print this, and it is magic, right? You can print that out and make these stencils and make your own candy corn. So it's just a painted sign with some candy corn on it. So now we're going to add some vinyl to it, and I've got some tips for you on how to add vinyl to this. I did this earlier because if you're putting vinyl on a painted sign, it needs to be completely dry. 
So this is all dry. You can't put vinyl on wet paint. So now we're going to put vinyl on this sign. So let me move some of these things over out of the way. So I use a silhouette for all my cutting. I have an older version of a silhouette, but I absolutely love it. And um, you can make so many cool things with this. So I was using up some scraps and I cut out the words Happy Halloween. And Happy Halloween ends at E here because again, I was using vinyl scraps because uh, vinyl is kind of expensive and you want to use up all the pieces you can. And then I went through and I cut out another E and another N. Um, but we're going to be able to line this up and apply it to the sign and no one will ever know that I cut it all separately. So this is cut from permanent adhesive vinyl. It's black vinyl. I actually think it's Silhouette Brands vinyl, but um, it doesn't matter what the brand is. You're just looking for permanent adhesive vinyl. And this font is called Chocolate Box. I download a lot of fonts from a website called dafont.com. You can go there and, and get just about anything. Um, be careful, I've said this before, but if you plan to make a sign and sell that sign, uh, make sure you're using a font that you're able to sell. It says commercial and it's a whole other story, but just don't, um, don't take a personal font and then try to sell it. So this is a free font. Um, it says Happy Halloween and I cut it out of my silhouette and then I weeded it. So I took out all that extra stuff that was in there and I'm left with these letters on backing. Now I need to get these letters onto my sign. So to do that, I'm going to transfer it. And when I transfer, I use contact paper. This is just clear contact paper. And what this allows me to do is pick up my letters and place them where I want them. So I am going to peel the back off my contact paper. Silhouette makes a version of transfer tape that you can use. And it's really nice. It works really well. But contact paper is a heck of a lot cheaper. So I've got the sticky side up right now of the contact paper. And I'm going to take my letters and put them face down onto the contact paper. And I'm going to take this silhouette tool right here. This is the scraper tool. And I'm going to push really well so that they really get on there. Then I need to add my extra letters. Because again, I use scrap vinyl. Now I gotta add my extra E. But because this is clear on this side, I can easily see what I'm doing from the other side here. So I'm gonna add my E by kind of just lining it up, eyeing it up here. If you had to do this all by hand, and just try to peel vinyl and then put it on your sign. It just gets to be a mess. So you got to use some kind of some kind of transfer tape for that. E, E, and then I need an N. I'm going to cut this down to size a little bit. Let's see, the N goes this way. So we are crafting a Halloween sign tonight. We have painted the sign. We have added some candy corn to it. And now we're adding some vinyl lettering to the top. And I am piecing my letters together because I used up all the vinyl I had. So happy Halloween on contact paper. So now that this is all pushed on here really, really well, we're going to start peeling off the back of the vinyl. And the letters stick to the contact paper. Keep your scraper tool in hand. Aw, thanks, Heather. I don't have mine yet. I thought I would wait till afterwards, you know, so I can speak and actually <laughs> talk to you guys. Okay, so there's the first part of my Halloween. There we go. All right. So happy Halloween on contact paper. Now, I'm going to stick it to my board. What I love about this is it's clear so I can easily see where I want to put it. And I'm usually pretty anal about this. I usually get out a ruler so it's correct. I don't have a ruler right now. I'm just going to line it up. Sounds good to me. So it's on there with our contact paper right over everything. 
Um, and we did paint this ahead of time tonight because the paint needs to be dry before you put um, your vinyl on it. And I've done videos where we talked about using vinyl as a stencil. You can just, and a lot of people ask, well, can't you just use the vinyl letters on your sign? Absolutely you can. Um, you can use them as a stencil or you can use them on a sign. So now that everything's stuck on here, I need to get the contact paper off and leave the vinyl on the sign. So I'm gonna do that by taking my, my scraper tool here and just really burnishing over all these letters and adhering them really well to the wood, to the painted wood. And then we'll pull it off. So let me know if you have any questions as we go here. Again, if you want to make a cute little Halloween sign, you have tons of time, it's early September, there is a stencil file in the description for this candy corn that's on here. Okay, so now we've got this, and we're gonna peel off the, this is like my favorite part, we're gonna peel off the contact paper, and all your letters are gonna stick beautifully in place. And if you have more signs to do, this contact paper is reusable. I don't have anything else to do tonight, so I'm gonna fold it over itself but you could use it on more vinyl. It keeps sticking. Look at that. Perfectly lined up letters. Mm. All good to go. That's our sign, friends. What we did, so I'm just gonna recap this really quick so you know what I did and then you can go make your own. So I started with a, uh, a one by six board and it's cut to 24 inches long. I painted it with this Americana Decor chalky finish paint. It's called Timeless. You can get this at Michael's. You can get this at Amazon. Um, it's just a, like a dark cream paint. So I painted it. Then I used a dry brush technique where I took a hard bristled brush with some black paint, very, very little black paint. I went over this a couple times to give it kind of a darkened, almost distressed look. Then I let that dry completely. Once that was dry, I cut out these candy corn stencils. And again, links in the description, go get your own stencil. Um, hold on, I gotta get closer. Aw, thank you, Michelle, that's really sweet. Um, I'm looking forward to displaying this for Halloween. Um, so cut out the stencil with your silhouette or there's a PDF. I traced the candy corn on here and then just painted it with craft paint. And, um, oh no, you don't have any sign, any sound. Oh no, I'm sorry. Can anybody else hear me? Can you guys hear me? Um, as far as it being backwards, it's because I'm using the forward, the like selfie camera on my phone. So everything's flipped. So it really does say happy Halloween. And I'm sure this sign behind me looks a little funny because it's backwards. Um, but it really does say happy Halloween. Um, but let me know if anybody else can hear me or if you cannot hear me. That would be awesome. Uh, so once the candy corn dried, we just filled that in with paint. I cut out the Happy Halloween in black vinyl and then we just stuck it on there. Thank you for letting me know. I'm glad I haven't been talking to myself. Um, if there isn't any sound, definitely check the replay. There'll be a replay of this video up as soon as we're done here. Um, so yeah, you can definitely watch it again. But that's an easy Halloween craft. Uh, something you can really make your own and um, put a little twist on it. So thank you for crafting with me on Friday night. Um, thank you, Heather. Um, Friday night crafts are one of my favorite things. I've been doing this every Friday for a couple weeks, and I love having you guys here with me. It makes me feel like I have friends to craft with on Friday night. Um, so this was a lot of fun. So download those candy corn and uh, make your own sign. And watch for some details next week. I'm sure I'll be back next week, Friday, and with something else fun to do. So thank you guys. Have a great night. Bye.